Hey guys, and welcome back to another edition of Two Scoop News. Now today we're gonna to be talking about a witch doctor who was credited to be able to raise the dead. Max Beauvoir, a Haitian witch doctor, recently died at the age of 79. Hailed by many Haitians as the Pope of Voodoo, Max Beauvoir was credited for many things, from stopping a US invasion to being able to raise the dead. Namely, Clavius Nicis, who died in 1962 and was raised 18 years later by the witch doctor, supposedly. And there he is, pictured raised from the dead. Mr. Beauvoir was also involved in introducing Harvard professor Wade Davis to Marcel Pierre, a sorcerer who also introduced Davis to a magic powder which they claim is able to raise the dead and turn them into zombie slaves. Yep, you heard right, zombie slaves. Mr. Davis then took the powder back to his lab where he applied it to the shaved backs of rats to see what would happen. The rats went unconscious and about six hours later they appeared to have a faint heartbeat and signs of brain activity. Mr. Davis was so convinced about all of this that he actually wrote a book called The Serpent and the Rainbow which documented his experiences with the witch doctor and with Marcel Pierre. Hollywood then took an interest in all of this and produced a whole bunch of movies based on this concept. One of the first ones having the title of the book The Serpent and the Rainbow by Wes Craven. Now this is serious guys, we are talking about a witch doctor who claims to be able to raise the dead. But this reminds us friends that we need to be firm on the word of God and not veer from it from the right or to the left. Now Deuteronomy 11 verse 16 says, Take heed to yourselves that your heart be not deceived and you turn aside and serve other gods and worship them. And that's exactly what these wish ushers do. They serve other gods. They conjure up spirits, they talk to demons, and demons talk through them. And so they claim to raise the dead, but is it really true? By what power do they do it? If they're not serving the God of the Bible, then who are they serving? Friends, if we stick with the word of God, we will not be deceived. And the Bible says that Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. The only way. And if we stick with that in these last days, we will be able to stand firm and not be swayed by any outside influence that is not in agreement with God's word. And our word of encouragement comes from Joshua 1 verse 9 where it says, Be strong and of a good courage, be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed, for the Lord thy God is with thee, with us wherever thou goest. So friends, be strong and courageous because God is with you no matter what you do, no matter where you go, he will always be with you and he will protect you and watch over you and see you through to the end. Well, that's it guys. I'm Shane Manhurst for Two Scoop News where you get your two scoops every daily news. Please like this video as it does help out a lot. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter. And as always, thanks for watching and God bless.